Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It was a great life. As well as a great life. Now, Andy was bragging to me about he, I guess, heard, where'd you hear the song? At work. So before our daily like stand-up calls, we do what's called music fun time, where we, we all like randomly submit songs yeah. and try and guess like who submitted it to get like a win, essentially. And I heard this song, freaking banger. Okay. I, I, I think I had seen suggestions for it. I don't know. We must have overlooked it. But this song, it, it, it's a slapper, dude. I think all I could think of the entire time the song was playing was that you would love this. Damn, I and you also know my music taste. So. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Well, uh, we're just gonna get right into it. Thank you for watching the video, and uh, let's do it. Oh, ooh. Uh. she cried to the southern wind about a love that was shoot you in. Every tree. So cool. That was superb. Really good song. And it, they, they're so good because they have this like unique style ELO. Mm -hmm. And their use of instrumentation and production is just so next level. It's so 
pushing of the genre. I loved the violins. I've never heard a violin do that, uh, where it does like the long, like legato y sort of thing, mm. and then all of a sudden it ends in a pluck. It's just such a good way to bookend that that I've never heard. I didn't even catch that, but now that you say it, I, I recognize I've, that. I've literally never heard that. And maybe I'm just not into stuff that features violin exclusively or mainly. Mm -hmm. But man, just as a first time hear, hearing that sort of technique, I was like, man, that's so cool. That's yeah. so cool. How'd you go with the vocals? Great. It reminded me of like, uh, and lyrically, I don't think I missed the words, but I don't think this is what it's about. But what, it what I envisioned when I was listening to it was like an old West movie. Right. Mm -hmm. And you have like some cowboy who's supposed to fight somebody at dawn, like a showdown in the streets. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it's the night before. And mm -hmm. it's like that night before mm -hmm. you're like, damn, like I could lose my life tomorrow. And I imagine it's raining outside. And for him, it feels like it's raining all over the world because all that matters is like where he's at. And he's like, this is going to be the longest night of my life. Could be the last, but it's also the longest Dang, dude. Very accurate. I'm glad I'm glad you kind of picked up on that because not that I let the message of the song just like pass over my head and just get caught on instrumentation, but that's actually exactly what happened. But fair like, though. It's like I get the feeling of like showdown, you know what I mean? But I wasn't really like thinking about it. But it really I also does don't know if it's about context. cowboys. But it's definitely about some kind of showdown. That's true. It, it, one way or another. One thing super crazy vocally that I really enjoyed was it very much felt like Mick Jagger almost. In terms oh, of, in terms of I can style, so right? agree. I can right? so agree. Wow. Like, Im imagine like if you sub just sub in him on this song, and like, would there have been much of a difference? Probably a little bit, but like, I don't know. Like, you're gonna get the same feeling. Style. You're gonna get the same yeah. exact feeling. And Which, it's also crazy that his vocal range can do that. Yes, exactly. So crazy and cool to see that from Jeff Lynn. Okay, rating wise, um, you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. A, a. plus. I think it's an A plus song. There's nothing like super hard that held, held me back from the A plus beyond just like trying to be more. I feel like we flip flop being more conservative mm, on the yeah. on the pluses and stuff like that. But I think we're on the same page in terms of it. This is like in the A level. Like it's an it's really really song, good an yeah song. They did a, a phenomenal job on it. At this point, it's like splitting hairs kind of. Mm. Um, there was only one thing that I thought was a little much, and that was how, as much as I loved them, how loud the violins were in comparison to the mix. Mm. But it's really hard for me to like subtract anything for that, just because we're listening on something that was not yeah. like this was probably intended for not like audio headphones. Yeah, like if it's like playing out loud, it's probably not going to feel like that probably same not. way. Or if it does, it, it feels more like less in your face from all angles yeah. and more just like foundational texture that everything else is on top of. Yeah, so that was the only thing I heard. Everything else I thought was awesome. I love the little uh, like breakdown sections they have in ELO songs. They have them in a ton of yep. them where they'll do like this tiny weird ambient like musical break for just a second and then hop right back into it. And it's so cool because... He has so many hooks. Like everything he's singing basically feels like a hook. Yep. And it gives you a good moment to like step back for a second, breathe, and he's like, all right, I'm bringing it right back in. You ready? And you're like, yeah, I'm ready. And you're like, okay, cool, let's go. One thing cool about ELO is I, I, I feel as though almost every, like you say, like every lyric and line that he is singing, it feels like a hook or it feels like it could be the chorus of the song. Yeah. Even the verses. It would be the chorus to a song of a lesser artist. Like yep. that's how it would be. Yep, exactly. No, this. I, I just think it's freaking amazing. Like I, I love how they can consistently just pump these out and just ha like maintain a level of energy slash like uniqueness. And them. this is a little bit of a deep cut. I definitely don't think I've ever seen somebody like mention this in the comments. Now, granted, we get thousands and thousands of comments every day. Mm -hmm. So did we miss some? Probably. I'm sure there's a, a subject of people who asked for this song specifically. Mm -hmm. But man, like definitely not the majority. So this is freaking sure. awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys for letting us know. Well, I guess this is thanks to the dev stand up. So for thanks real, to your freaking team. You guys for need to real. step it up. Have some more ELO songs for us. Let's and uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Peace. See ya. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out other ELO reactions that we have done here on YouTube, get a link for that right here to all those. If you want to hang out with us over on the Patreon, aka the Cool Kids Club, there's a link to that right here. See you there.